Okay guys, well the original idea of getting this software running is so that we can make uh, legitimate backups of our original Commodore discs because as we all know they will fade after time um, which has the added benefit of once they are made into um, a D64 image we can then run them in an emulator so there is a double purpose to copying our discs now to do this it's very simple make sure this side if we use the tab key on the keyboard which is that key above caps lock shift caps lock tab what we do on uh, star commander is we swap the cursor from the left to the right so that being our DOS drive that being our Commodore drive what we do to make an image is we make sure that the cursor is on the Commodore side we then press F9 to pull up the menu we pull down on commands and then what we do is we use the copy disk command like that now what that's asking us now or confirming it says copy the disk in drive 0 2 and it's already prompted disk C which is where our DOS partition is uh, the rest of the options for the minute you can leave alone this software is not really set up to copy protected disks you need to um, somehow emulate a parallel lead and enabler to do that which is beyond the scope of this video so I will not be showing you how to do that but uh, most of this you can leave alone there are some options which some of you might recognize where you can do a block availability map copy instead of copying the entire disk you can just copy the files that are on it into an image which makes the files smaller um, stuff like that but again that's beyond the scope of this video it's just a basic thing just to see just to tell you how you can copy your disk so what we do is as I said we use the copy disk copy disk in drive 8 to disk C what we do is we press enter and there it goes now this will take a while a very long time so what I'm going to do is I'm going to fast forward this until it gets to track 35 now it will do this occasionally you'll find it will come up with timeout all you got to do is retry and it will carry on it's to do with the uh, port timing on the computer it doesn't harm the copy in any way um, I should have gone into the BIOS first and turned off the uh, sleep mode for the peripherals but it doesn't do any harm, just click continue, you'll be fine There we are. That is, let me unclip the camera, how to make a disk image of a Commodore disk. That is now done. What it's doing now is waiting for us to put another disk in and then it will make another image. We have a chance, if we want, to come across here and we can name it instead of disk 1, disk 2, disk 3. We can call it something meaningful. As long as we keep .d64 on the end of it, we'll be fine. Now I'm going to escape out of that because I don't have another disk to copy or time to show you another disk copying. And on the left, you'll see it's now come up with a file disk 0001.d64. We can't open that into Star Commander, but what we can do is we can actually open that up into an emulator of your choice. C64S, CCS64, uh, WinVice, whatever you choose. That will open up as a disk image and will contain everything there. Plus whatever scrolls off the bottom, that's, that's the entire disk, so it's copied the entire disk. OK guys, now if we wanted to make an original Commodore disk from that image, over there it's easy to do what we do is we tab across we make sure that that image is highlighted we press F9 we go up to the menu commands and we do exactly the same we go down to copy disk this time it's gonna say or it's gonna ask us where we want to copy to it's gonna copy from the image file onto drive 8 there are some advanced options here for 
um, copying if you want to um, copy multiple discs if you want to format the destination disc first it doesn't actually have to be formatted um, you can do a block availability copy so you don't have to copy the whole disc that kind of thing there's some quite uh, advanced stuff you can make uh, GCR coded images that kind of stuff we don't need to worry about any of that really um, if you want to put your disc your image back onto an original disc obviously put your disc in your drive um, choose your image do copy disc um, leave that at drive 8 go down to copy and press enter now I'm not going to do this for two reasons one I haven't got a spare blank disc to use they are very hard to come by and I have none left in my collection and secondly this disc is very old it's barely holding the uh, information that it's got on it it's fading which is why I've already backed it up so I'm not going to erase this one and start playing with it because I might lose the disc entirely so I'm going to cancel out of that so there you go that is how to use the uh, XE1541 cable with Star Commander to make disk images either to your computer on D6, two D64 images or back to an original Commodore disk that you can use on the real Commodore 64. Okay guys that's the end of the project thank you for watching I hope you found it interesting um, as and when I can find the parts as and when I can get the time um, eventually I'll be building an XA1541 because I'd like to start using uh, my drive with Windows directly but until I can get that cable built it's not going to happen so um, this has been the XE1541 project this is Board with Usernames thanks for watching see you in the next video